Okay, uh, what's up everybody? Um, I just wanted to do a quick uh, unboxing and kind of like quick product review of two things actually. One is Sims Bug Stopper Hoodie. So this is gonna be like an initial impression of the Bug Stopper Hoodie. And then secondly of um, Carl's Club membership. Um, Carl's Club is the company that does those mystery tackle boxes and um, that's kind of what they got well known for but they also had just have like a, a membership thing um, that you get discounts on shipping and discounts on products and stuff and that's actually where I found this. I don't have a mystery tackle box subscription but um, I just started opening this package from them and I was like you know what I should review this because um, I don't do a lot of that on here and I'd like to do more of it. So anyway Again, this is the Sims Bug Stopper hoodie. There is a Sims Bug Stopper Solar Flex hoodie, which is like even more um, lightweight material. Um, so I'm interested to see if this one feels light enough, like lightweight enough to me um, for the summertime, which is when I'd be using this when the bugs are out. Looks pretty sweet. Sims Bug Stopper says 50 UPF. The material feels really lightweight, actually. I don't know really how you'd need anything less, anything even lighter weight. Bug Stopper is a stuff I have not ever bought before, so I'll have to do like a long-term review of it, but Bug Stopper is permethrin, which is like a insect. Um, it actually kills insects on contact. So when insects land on your clothing, if it has permethrin in it, then they will crawl around on you for a little bit and then die before they have a chance to bite you. So, and permethrin is better for your body. It's not as bad for you as DEET. And DEET is what's in a lot of bug sprays. So I'm very interested to try this product. I'm actually also very interested because my girlfriend gets bit by bugs like a ton, like mosquitoes in particular. I happen to have like 38, 40 chigger bites right now for my last um, trip doing some um, trout fishing west of here. So I'm very itchy, I'm very excited and hope to, um, I'm very excited to hopefully get this type of clothing and experience less chigger bites and mosquito bites and things like that. So yeah, there's um, Insect Shield is basically Sims or somebody's like version of how they put the permethrin into the fabric like bond it chemically somehow. So yeah, um, this is a hoodie, which I like, because it covers up your head. Um, oh man. Okay, so this was new when it was shipped to me, so I thought, but there seems to be s these two little stains on the shirt. I don't know if that's because it went through some chemical treatment process or what. Dang, there's like these two little spots that just look like some, I mean, my used like Patagonia hoodie has these on it, but it's from me, it's from like grease and stuff. So that kind of sucks. Um, I don't know if that's like Sims quality control or Carl's Club, but um, I will send Carl's Club an email and just be like, hey, did you send me a used product? Can you send me a new one? Um, and see how they handle that. So hopefully that, gets resolved um, but anyway uh, I'm excited about the shirt the shirt does seem sweet um, I mean I would wear it it's just kind of crappy to feel like you didn't get a new product so um, I don't know how that snuck through but yeah small seems to fit just right um, thumb loops kind of pull on my shirt a bit pull them down just how they're done I think with the Patagonia uh, sun hoodies the sleeve is longer than this probably so it just kind of naturally goes over your hand so I don't love that that feels kind of like pulling but not the biggest deal I'm just being picky here because this is a product review probably just wear it like this most of the time but it doesn't seem very big I have all my hair is super long right now it doesn't seem very big I kind of like the Patagonia hood Again. But um, I guess if you're wearing a hat or whatever, then this at least covers like your neck and your chin. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Kind of like hugs you just right. Um, but again, I'm, I'm pretty thin, so um, 
I kind of like this fit breezy, but it's not um, just gaping, hanging off of me to where I'm going to be, um, you know, frustrated by it when I'm hiking around and stuff all day. So cool. Okay. Well, I'm going to get this off and send an email to Carl's Club, but just wanted to um, get that review done for you guys and hopefully um, there's more stories to come. Maybe I can get like a fresh version of this that doesn't have stains on it and um, yeah but I will also maybe update this review after using the shirt using the hoodie for a few months. Um, it's about to be kind of like more fall time frame so I don't know that I'll use it as much as in the spring and summer when there's tons of bugs but we will see. Hey, so a quick update on the part of this video where I found some stains on the, the product I was sent. Um, I contacted Carl's Club and they got back to me the same day actually. Um, and it was on a Sunday. So within a few hours, um, Caitlin replied, hi Mike, Michael, thank you for contacting us, um, et cetera, et cetera. We will try to send a replacement of the same damaged item. So good on them. Um, that's super great. I can't believe they did that so quickly in a few hours. So I guess I will wait to see um, when the new one gets shipped out um, and, you know, probably get to update this video later on, um, like I said, with a longer term review. But good on Carl's Club. That was super good customer service. I uh, just wanted to update the video and get this all into one, one segment. Uh, thanks again for watching. Um, so yeah, leave any questions or comments um, below in the comments section if you have any, and um, hope you enjoy this. Thanks.